Thanks for tuning back in. This is Amir Dabarkar from Exploring Excel. Email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail.com. This is UDF series Excel VB Editor. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay. Now this time I'm going to start with the Excel VB Editor series in which it is included under Excel UDF series. In the video, you, if you find this logo, then it is a UDF series logo. So this time I'm going to start with Excel VB Editor. For that, first thing, the basic thing you need is the developer tab. How to enable the developer tab in 2007? I will also show you in 2013 version later. But uh, in 2012, we're going to go to Office ribbon, then Excel options, then going to a popular toolbar and here show developer tab in the ribbon. Enable this and click OK. So the developer tab is enabled. It has some of the con components like code, controls, XML, and modify. The core basically is about recording Visual Basic Editor, which we are talking about right now. The macros which will be recorded and also which we will write in the Visual Basic Editor for applications. The same button is here, record macro. Use the relative references like it is also known as R1, C1 references. And we are also here is a macro security. Like uh, we have to select for the macro security. The things we have to select is enable all macros if you want. Or you can just say disable all macros. Ex or you can say disable all macros with notification. These two are the recommended settings. We, uh, recommended settings in your computer. You select either of these two. I have selected enable all macros. Okay. Then here are the controls. Here are the two types of controls. Form controls and ActiveX control. Form control inside the form. Uh, ActiveX con uh, form controls are of user form controls. And active control of worksheet controls. Then we have properties window, U code, and so on. We'll talk it about it in later. Uh, then, uh, after going to developer tab, there is a Visual Basic icon here. Or pressing Alt F11 to go to the Visual Basic editor. But basically, you need to know, understand where does a macro stores. Here are the four things where the macro stores. I've written here down. So how could how you select it? There are four places. First thing is the personal macro workbook. What is a personal macro workbook? This is a workbook which is which uh, which is open in all the things. For example, how to enable that thing? When you go to the Visual Basics, I don't find here the personal macro workbook. But how to, you can enable this personal macro workbook? The personal macro workbook you have to select to go record macro. You can just name trial macro then press the keyboard shortcut if we need control B control let's see let's name it control shift I okay now in the store macro in we will just select the personal macro workbook and there are two things like new workbook, this workbook, new workbook, or personal macro workbook. I will see that the personal macro workbook and type out a summary description. This macro makes the selection bold and italic. Okay. So it will start recording. I will go to the home tab, click, click the bold, click the italic and click here to stop recording a macro. Or you can go to the developer tab and stop recording will be available here. So now you can go and see. Press Alt F11. You can go, go here, see here. Personal Excel SB. You can see here. Uh, the Mac code written here is here. So the selection dot bold is equal to true and the selection of font dot italic equals to true. This so small line of code is used and the some of the notes are written here automatically. This is called as comments. That's why I've written the comments inside. To write the comments, just you have to uh, just uh, to select this go in and write what the com comments which you want. Like this makes the contain bold and italic 
huh? apostrophe you can use to write more comments so this is how the comments are written it does it is not recorded when it is done in macro like pressing f8 to debug the macro i will just show you in a moment let's close this face then there is inside a selective sheet and inside this workbook for this you have to go select to the project which you are in like i am currently in excel vba editor excel sm so i will just select the sheets here which i want to write the code for example the sheet i am selecting the sheet 2 there are some other part of the code the worksheet dot activate for example worksheet dot activate so this will see that the worksheet is got activated and i will select for example message box box equals to sorry um this is sheet 2 okay worksheet dot activate this i have stored in the sheet 2 not in this workbook here also are the many options here arguments which are called like follow hyperlink deactivate change and calculate uh, i have just selected the message box uh, this is sheet 2 let's see how it runs this is sheet 2 it runs okay then how to store the macro inside this workbook visual basics going to the this workbook you can just select like workbook open argument then you can just select sheet calculate synchronize deactivate resize activate before close before print before save i will select uh, new sheet do right here message box do you want to create do you want to create a new sheet comma do you want to create a new sheet question mark then double scores then then vb message box style i am just making it this and if you need any title for it new sheet then so on you can just see enter now when i just cl click here do you want to create a new sheet ignore whatever it is so it creates and you can see that vb ignore equals to and so on then again it will show do you want to ignore about okay so currently i have not written any code for this then inside a module so for inside a module it is a basic thing you can just store the anything inside a module to so go for, to insert a module click on insert and then module module means it will be available in all the sheets but it is inside a module it is not in a particular location but for that you write the sub routine up sub open i will just sing msg show i will just write msg show message box show then msg box this is inside a module this is inside a module okay so uh, after the writing this some small sort of code when you run this code run this is inside a module you can associate this with a button going to insert form controls here button okay this is inside a module so it runs or oh, these are the four types of uh, places where a macro can be stored the rest coming in the upcoming videos is about the developer tab components in the uh, developer tab and visual basic editor macros record macros macro security alt f11 that is uh, done components core window properties window object explorer in the immediate window project explorer toolbar in vba vba project properties and lots more so just 
just watch the type this type a logo here on my thumbnails of in the YouTube to see the next be beauty app series and I'm, I'm so creating a playlist of the all the Excel VBA UDF series so uh, thanks for watching feel free to subscribe and watch more videos on exploring Excel have a great day